What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another of my videos. Today we're actually going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how to actually improve your aim in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So without further ado, let's get into the tips. Alright guys, so my first tip and probably honestly the most important one uh, is going to be your actual sensitivity in the game. Now if you guys go down here a little bit, you basically see where it says horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical stick sensitivity. Um, this is honestly different for every single player. It's kind of just what you're more comfortable with uh, playing an actual game itself. I have mine on 6. I think default is 5 if I'm not mistaken. But I mean I'm pretty sure this goes up to 20. Uh, I don't know what you're going to be shooting at going 20 because you're, you're probably going to give yourself a seizure. Um, but like I said, honestly, it just depends on everybody's different, uh, preferences. I probably could go a little higher. It obviously just depends on, uh, the way I play. Honestly, I'm kind of used to playing on six, so I haven't really changed it in this game too much. Um, but like I said, it, it kind of depends on everyone's own specific play style and what they kind of like and how fast they like, uh, basically moving around. Uh, under that, we actually have ADS sensitivity multiplayer. Uh, now what this actually does is it controls the amount that your gun actually moves when you're actually aiming down your sight. Personally, this kind of mostly affects you if you do use ARs or snipers because honestly, that's kind of what you're more uh, ADSing most of the time. SNGs, you could kind of hit fire most of the time uh, and you are kind of closer range, so it's alright if you do so. Uh, but like I said, uh, it also stays at one. I haven't changed it honestly because I don't play with that at all. Uh, I've seen people actually kind of lower it just because it helps them aim a little bit longer. Well, no, I don't know what that does. Uh, but I've seen people lower it. They usually they play like 0.75 to one, uh, just because it does help kind of uh, control your recoil a little bit better when you do actually get in a gunfight. Now you could also change the aim response curve type, the aim assist type. Uh, most of these settings, I honestly just don't really touch them because standard is probably the best way to go. And, uh, I just rather not confuse myself because honestly, just the way it is in that these actual settings is probably the best that you're going to be able to play with. So if you could change them, you know, it obviously tells you what to do and, uh, what it actually does when you change it. But my personal preference, I would just leave it alone because I haven't touched any of it. Uh, so I don't recommend you guys doing it either. All right, guys, tip number two of improving your aim is understanding the weapon recoil of the actual gun that you're using now this is obviously gonna depend and vary on whatever gun you're using because honestly they're all different so i'm gonna give you guys a couple examples right here so you can basically uh you can see what i mean all right so i'm obviously using the m4 i have no attachments on this whatsoever uh i'm basically just gonna point right here and i'm gonna start shooting so you're gonna kind of tell where the recoil is going so you can kind of tell it honestly goes up a few bricks and then it starts going a little bit to the right now if i go pick a different gun like the mp5 even even though it is an smg you're gonna notice it's completely different so you can see obviously it's i mean whatever it's a different size but you can see how this one's kind of goes up a little bit like literally a brick and then diagonal and then straight back up. It's not like the M4 where it just went literally straight up almost four bricks. And then it started going diagonal. So that's with that. Honestly, I'll show you guys with an LMG just so you have a basic idea. And basic better understanding. Not a basic understanding. A better understanding of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to kill myself again. And uh, I'll go get the LMG. Alright, so we got the PKM now. LMG. I've literally never used this ever in my life i've never even picked it up uh but once again we're gonna start at that one brick line we're gonna let go and honest i'm not shooting 100 bullets here but uh i'm just gonna shoot maybe like what like 20 30 we're gonna see where it goes <laughs> all right well obviously you guys can tell actually that's not so bad uh it literally just goes straight up so the m4 kind of went up diagonal this one went up diagonal and then straight up and this one just went literally straight up in a line. So that's what I mean by knowing exactly what kind of gun you're using and the recoil that it is. All right, guys. So tip number three, which actually kind of posts on a little bit to the tip number two that we just talked about with the recoil. Uh, this was actually going to be about the attachments that you guys are using because that is also very important uh, on what you're using with your gun. Because the attachments in this game actually... Uh, if you guys obviously play this game, you know what I'm talking about. They basically have, you know, plus and minuses, pros and cons uh, to what will help you, you know, do better in the game. So this one, you can see it actually has recoil control. 
uh, damage range, whatever, bullet velocity. And, uh, you know, they all vary. So you go to the rear grip, it's got recoil control, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. So obviously the way you want to play is the type of attachments you're going to be using. So obviously depending on what kind of attachments you do put on, uh, if the recoil is pretty bad on a gun. Like right now I'm using the M4, so you guys are going to get a basic idea. I'm going to put on just stuff that's going to help the recoil. So I put on the uh, rubberized grip tape. I'm going to go to a barrel, try and find something. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Uh, I'll do under barrel and I'll try and find something. All right, recoil control again. So I got two things with recoil control and uh, it should be on the gun now. All right, so basically this was the first M4A1 that you guys saw me shooting with zero attachments. Now I had, I believe, the grip and the uh under barrel or barrel whatever i just put on whatever it doesn't matter but uh they were both for recoil control so i'm gonna try and start again at the same spot and basically see the difference that it's gonna make all right so you can see it actually it did help out a lot uh basically it took off almost a full brick of it going up and down and then what like two bricks actually that that is pretty significant uh, of it going diagonal so you can kind of tell what uh what the attachments and different stuff that you're going to be putting on your gun uh is actually going to affect the way you play uh obviously with the different types of attachments you could probably just uh you know put it on play with it and see how it is to kind of play uh fit your play style a little bit more uh so that is going to vary basically based on everybody but that is tip number three. All right, guys, tip number four is controlling your fire rate. Now, obviously, if you're just going to sit there and, you know, just completely go berserk with the trigger, you're going to get aimed like that. Now, this is actually with the attachments. Don't forget that. This is the one that was just no attachments whatsoever. So you can kind of tell the difference. Now, what I mean by controlling your fire is obviously, you know, if you're going to go full auto, just ball to a wall, hold the trigger for, you know, 25 bullets to empty the clip. That's exactly what you're going to get. Now, by controlling your fire rate, I literally mean if you see there's a guy obviously standing there, you could go, you know, three, four bullets at a time, five, six bullets, you know, and uh, you could just tell the difference between the two. You could see how much more accurate the one on the left is than just going ball so wall and holding the trigger for five seconds uh also in this game if you guys didn't know if you do press left on the d-pad or whatever i have a ps4 controller uh put your gun in semi-auto mode so depending on the gun you know it's, it's gonna help your aim a lot and you know that's probably how you're gonna get the best aim it's just the fire rate is a lot lower so you can kind of tell the difference between the three that i just showed you guys all right guys so tip number five is gonna actually be counteracting your recoil so this is the m4 with the two attachments that we put on before same exact so you're gonna get basically this type of spread now what i mean by counteracting your recoil is you obviously see that this is gonna go a little bit high and to the right so if you basically if you are gonna go full auto or you know you go through a few bullets at a time whatever however you play uh, basically, you know, obviously when you start shooting, just pull down on the trigger a little bit. And then when you see it start going a little bit to the right, you know, just, just kind of bring it back down the other way. So you're basically going to be counteracting, uh, the way your gun is looking like. So instead of having that, you could have something like this. Oh, I'm still in semi-auto mode. You could have something like this. And obviously that, that's not the prettiest aim that you could possibly have, but it is a lot more, a lot better and a lot more controllable than the first one. Because obviously I, I don't, I don't know what kind of guys you guys are killing with that type of aim, at least like this, you know, if they're sitting, uh, it's easier to kind of see where you are shooting and it's easier for you to actually hit your targets. Guys, tip number six is adjusting your crosshairs. Now, bomb bomb. What do you mean by this? I literally mean, you know, don't walk around looking at the ground like this and then have to move and shoot somebody through this window over here that's you a you're not gonna win the gunfight and b you're you're gonna look like a sad trooper actually walking around the map like that uh so literally what you're gonna want to do is basically just try and predict where the enemy's gonna be and you know obviously just point your crosshairs to that it seems simple uh but honestly like i've done this before too where i kind of just you know like i'm running through here and i just run like that and i'm kind of using like my third sense of vision to basically look at people uh, but the problem with that is, you know, if I'm obviously running here and I'm just looking like this, uh, if somebody actually pops into this little window right here, instead of me having to actually, you know, go like that and shoot at them, if I'm looking at them, I'd have to, you know, waste my time turning and then shoot. And by then, you know, reaction time in this game is a lot, guys. So, uh... Uh, whoever had the fast reactions time, you will win that gunfight. And obviously, it's going to take you a lot longer to shoot. So, you are going to lose. So, my tip to you guys is if you're obviously running into places like that, you know, keep 
your crosshairs aimed into something that you guys predict that there will be people there. So obviously, if you're going to turn this corner, you know, uh, you know, look around. Don't just run, you know, aimlessly like that and then turn last second. Uh, because like I said, reaction time is everything in this. And if 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 you can get your shots off first, you are going to win the gunfight, honestly, like 90% of the time. Now, this obviously helps most when you are running around the map, too. It's not just, you know, you just casually walk into the park around an object or something. If you're going to be sliding and you know someone's at the top right there, you just, you know, you pre-aim, you keep walking. Oh, he's over here. Uh, you know, you're not, you don't run around like this because, you know, there's no birds and you don't get points for shoot. Wow, look how I died. Anyway, there's no points for killing birds and stuff in the sky. So literally just... Always be ready, keep your gun aimed exactly where you expect people to be, and uh, you're gonna have a lot better chance of actually winning a gunfight if you get in one. All right guys, tip number seven is knowing when you should be ADSing. Now, what I mean by this is, say you actually have two people right here, these are two different targets. Uh, you know, obviously they're, one, this, this, this little guy right here could be looking that way, this guy could be actually facing you or running towards you, and you're standing right here. Uh, you're obviously gonna wanna go, kill him first you know call of duty iq is this is where it comes in handy uh because you're gonna want to kill him and then hopefully by the time he's dead you could turn around and kill this guy right here now what i mean by ads uh obviously if there's somebody this close and you're in a gunfight this close you could you know strafe a little bit to the right and aim at the same time to help you you're not just going to kind of stand still because it's going to be a greater chance for you to get shot so you could strafe and uh you know it's going to help you lock onto targets a lot faster than just you know going like that walking over here and then killing him so you could kind of just stay a little close now obviously that's going to be a little bit different if you got my little guy over here with the red chest uh if he's on that side and you got mr uh hulk over here with the green shirt uh if he's over here and you notice that there's another guy here you know what i mean you're not going to kill this guy and then just strafe to him and then hope he's he's blind and not looking at you obviously you're going to want to go like that you know jump uh, hit him with a quick little ADS because it's a lot faster doing that than staying ADS and just trying to switch targets. So you could kind of tell here's that it's a lot quicker and honestly the time difference is going to save your life in this game. It's also going to help you win the gunfight. So pay attention to me. Do not stay ADS for stuff like this. Honestly for another thing if you're going to stay in a back corner do not stay ADS over here. You know walk around this way if you think you see somebody do just honestly just Look here, zoom out, clock back in, and, uh, you know, get the kill and uh, go on with your day. Guys, my last and final tip from tip number eight is you have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. You guys have obviously heard the term practice makes perfect. If you guys want to be good at something, you obviously have to keep practicing. You have to keep going. You got to be disciplined. Honestly, Call of Duty, it's it happens to me because I kind of get, you know, worked out. And destroyed with my work schedule. So there's times where I haven't played, you know, in two, three days. And I go hop back on. And I'm shooting I'm shooting chickens. So the more you play, obviously, the better your aim is going to get. Uh, I would suggest you guys, if it's something that you're interested in doing, obviously play as much as you can. Uh, but you could also go in custom games and set up bots uh, to actually help you guys with your aim. Because sometimes they are a little bit clueless. Uh, so you can actually go and set enemy bots. You could even set them on a bot difficulty level. Uh, you got recruit, regular, hardened, veteran, and mixed. If you guys are trying to work on your aim, I really do not suggest going on veteran because, dude, they're they're fucking robots. They're insane. They're literally better than <laughs> they're better than me, and uh, it gets pretty annoying. So you can go mixed, just so you have a better, different visual of what you guys would actually see in an online public match, and uh, you guys just grind that out. And uh, hopefully, if you guys follow my tips. You can improve your aim. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Follow me on my social media links down in the description below. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these tips. If you guys find them useful. If you guys actually use them. If you guys have any tips of your own, comment them down in the section below. I'll be more than happy to read them and reply to you guys if you guys have any questions. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.